So today we're going to talk about getting rid of your smog pump and all the tubes that go on your exhaust manifolds that correlate with your smog pump. What I did is I bought this truck and it needed a fuel pump so it didn't run. In order to take the fuel pump off, it's easiest to remove the smog pump because it's right in the way. I had no desire to put the smog pump back on, so I'm going to show you how to delete everything that goes on your exhaust and your smog pump. So right here you can see the fuel pump. Down here is where the smog pump normally is, right under your alternator. There's a little bracket that hooks here, and it just sits here as this tube, which I used hillbilly technique and stuck a bolt in with a hose clamp to plug it. Then as this tube and these flare nuts that go into your, your exhaust here and on the other side as well. And once you remove your smog pump, there's absolutely no reason to have these anymore. But when you take them off, then you have a really bad exhaust leak because you, know, you just have exhaust shooting out of the hole here. So the easiest and most direct fix is to remove all these flare tubes and nuts and put a flare plug in. You want an inverted flare plug. This one is 5 16 The reason it is inverted is this part goes in instead of going out. So it's a half 20 thread. You can get a half 20 uh, plug if you want. Just don't get NPT uh, national pipe thread because it will not go in. It will not plug it. You can be a hillbilly if you want and stick it in there and hammer on it with your impact and I guess it'll work. I mean, for that matter, you can get a half 20 bolt and tighten in there as tight as you want, but this is going to give a better seal. Uh, it's about a dollar from Napa. Here's the gates part number. If you can see it. It is G60691-0005. You can get them at pretty much any auto parts store. Uh, I know O'Reilly's can special order them. Napa had two of them on the shelf. Obviously you need eight. Truck shops such as Fleet Pride will have them also. But anyway, I'll show you the process. We'll start out over here on the passenger side. I like to use a flare nut wrench. These are a 9 16 but I like to use a 14 millimeter flare nut wrench because it fits on there tighter. But just break it free. I already broke this one free. Uh, then just use your 9 16 wrench to take it off the rest of the way. These are not going to be easy to take off probably because they're, you know, old and rusty. But you'll probably also twist the tube if you're not careful. I put PB blaster on these and, you know, worked them back and forth and they came off. At least this one did. I haven't tried the other ones yet. Now, some people don't like using brass plugs. The reason for that is being that brass is going to heat and expand at a different rate than your cast iron exhaust manifold. I don't really have that much issue with that because brass doesn't melt until 1700 degrees. It's a dollar plug. And, you know, if I have any issues with it, I'll just replace it. If you have your exhaust manifold heat up to 1700 degrees where it's going to melt the plug, you're having bigger issues than, you know, this. Anyway, you can put anti-seize on your plug if you want to, but I don't ever plan on taking them out, so I don't see much point in that. Tighten it on there. Then get your half inch socket. I like to use six point because it's brass and it's not as strong as steel. And that's all there is to it. Now it's plugged. Not going to have an exhaust leak. Now I just got to do the rest of them. Yeah. 
And here's what it'll look like with those four plugged. I'm not gonna show the other side because it's exactly the same thing. I will show you though, you take this off where your hoses connect. You're gonna remove this nut here and then the other piece of the bracket goes back behind your alternator. You can see it there. So you loosen this bolt and take this one off and just slide it out. I suppose if you really wanted to use your welder, you could cut these tubes, take your flare nut off, and fill the hole with weld wire, and then you have your own plug. But I don't find that necessary. Up to you though. Anyway, that's all for today. If you wanna see where I started with this truck, it sat in Blackberries for about 25 years and I brought it back to life. I'll link that here. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.